All right, um, welcome back. In the previous video, we had some issues with Frappy.core. We tried to use this Frappy.core, but it said something like invalid requests. I copied the Frappy.core from the dialog, sorry, from this Ajax, paste it here. And you see the issues with invalid requests trying to show up here. Um, there's a quick fix to that. You can see it's invalid requests. To fix this issue, there's something called token. Token. Um, this contact page. You try viewing the source code. Um, not the source code per se. The page itself. View page source. At the very bottom. You see this that says frappe.csrf token. Grab it entirely. Do not copy the body tag, just this. Copy. Go to your source code. At the very bottom, paste it. But it is not advisable for you to use a static token value. Get rid of the token content. Come to the documentation. Look for Python API. Click on Ginger. On this Ginger to the right hand side, you find. I'm going to zoom this a little. Find this Frappe the session the CSRF under token. You grab it. Copy. Go to the source code. In here. You paste it as ginger file that like starts with two coily braids, two closing coily braids as well. Save. Return back to the page itself. Reload. Then we retry once the page reloads. Okay. If I try to paste this once more, it will not work. Although if you view our source code, you'll find that at the bottom, you'll find the token is already showing. There's a token showing. But if I paste this code I copied earlier, um, this code, it will not work because this method does not exist. Paste. You see, it may have no, res no response anyway. Or click on the get to see the error. Just have this kind of lines of error. Let us make use use of a functional request token. Sorry, frappe.core. Expand our code. Go to our estate app. Go to the estate module, the doc type, property, property.js. We had the requests frappe.core code in the search for the frappe.core. Scroll down to the bottom where the tag ends before the actions grab this rapid.call come back to the page paste it run although you may encounter an error and the error says reverence error property type record that we passed a property type so you just check through the code you can repeat it by using your DRO key this property type does not exist as variable in the code, we use something like flat in the system. Then, where you encounter it once more, change it to flat and run the code once more. Okay, you see the code works with the frappe.core method on our page. Earlier, why it did not work was because of the session. This, um, Frappe the CSRF underscore token. That was why it wasn't working. But now we can make use of it as long as we have in our base file the Frappe the CSRF is assigned. You assign this ginger Frappe the session the token. It automatically generates token for you. And that's just it for this video. Thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe.